So this is the second of my checklist series of videos and in this video we're going to talk about Google Analytics and why you need to have it set up on your website and secondly why it's important to have it linked to your Google Ads account. So the Google, uh, Google Analytics account I'm going to look at today is the demo GA account provided by Google which is an e-commerce site so I can show you all the the information there of why it's so valuable for you to have this set up on your site so we'll dive into that account right now so this is the analytics account for the as I say the Google merchandise store so it's the one that they provide as a demo um, this is the home page there's so much information here that is really really valuable for you um, this is not a Google Analytics lesson. I just want to demonstrate the value of having this information. Um, just for example, you can see where your traffic comes from. You can see which of that traffic gets you more orders and more conversions. So we can see here we've got organic, um, organic traffic here with 36 transactions. We've got direct, so that's bookmarks, people just typing in the URL, 21 transactions. Google CPC, so these would be your Google Ads. You can see we have 12 transactions here. And your you can track, um, that you, can, you can see information about your audiences, their demographic data, interests, where they are, what technology they're using. It's hugely, hugely beneficial to have all this information. And inside conversions, you, if you've got it set up right, you'll be tracking your e-commerce conversions and you can see lots and lots of information about how people interact with your store, what products are the most popular and what um, um, you know what, what products bring you the most revenue and your conversion rates, you know, your e-commerce conversion rates and, and everything like that. So very, very valuable to have this. But what I also need, to, what you also need to make sure you've done is also link it to your Google Ads account. Now, the reason that you want to do this is that you can actually import metrics from Google Analytics into your Google Ads account, things like click-through rates. Uh, time on page and all the, these kind of behavioral um, user information which can be very very useful also inside your analytics your sorry your Google Ads account so it's quite easy to, to link the two you just click on the cog at the bottom here and there's a, a product linking section here and you're just going to click on the Google Ads linking and assuming that you are logged into the same email uh, sort of Google login that your Google Ads account is linked to. Now this obviously won't let me do anything here because it's just a demo account. You'll just add a new link um, to a new account here and you'll link the two together. And then when you're inside your Google Ads account, you will be able to, it'll ask you if you want to import data into Google Ads and obviously the answer to that is yes. Another benefit of having them linked together is that you can if we go back to this section you can create remarketing audiences inside Google Analytics so again be more behavior based audiences where we're looking at t how long people spent on the site whether that's came in and bounced or whether that's users that spent more than maybe five minutes on the site because then you can adjust your remarketing campaigns and your bids based on the behavior of the, of, of the users. So a user that spent 10 minutes on your site is going to be far more likely to convert than somebody who came in and spent 10 seconds and just bounced. So you might you can use you can use that information to make your remarketing campaigns and your audiences on all your campaigns much more effective. So this is so that's the checklist number two item is talking about Google Analytics and whether it's linked to your Google Ads account. And in the next one, we're going to talk about tracking goals in the checkout process. So I'll see you then.